uh hi guys this is mr choike welcome to the second session um if you have not watched our first session of the lesson please make sure that you go and watch the video before that this one and i promise you that it will really really help you to understand accounting much better so in this session we're going to complete the cash flow statement remember part one we did the ordinary share capital note and the written income note so in this session we are going to complete that part so let's continue the lesson so now remember the first thing that they want you to complete is your cash effects of operating activities we have our cash generated by operations done interest paid it has been done then we need to include um uh, we need to include um income tax um paid and then we also need to make sure that we include um dividends paid okay now i'm going to start with dividends paid because it is the easiest one that you can complete so when you do your dividends paid this is what you are going to include um there are two methods that you can do but i'm going to show you the short term method okay but in the next lesson i will cover that note straight the way it is but for now i'll just have to show you the shortcut okay so when we do our dividend paid this is what we want remember last year we were owing shareholders some money right so what we were owing them last year will have to be paid this year and then again we also have to pay our interim for the current year so that information um, is available to us so we can make sure that we simply um, get it so i'm going to go to our information so last year our shareholders for dividend was 212,000. So that 212,000 has to be paid. So we'll have that 212,000. And then we'll also have um, plus, uh, we'll also have plus, what was our paid for this year? Our paid for this year, I think it was 1,760,000. Uh, so we'll say um, plus that 1,760,000. Sixty thousand, and then from there we'll get our dividends paid. So let's see. Um, uh, two hundred and twelve thousand plus one million seven hundred and sixty thousand uh, is giving us one million nine hundred and seventy two thousand. You can confirm it by doing that other note that your teacher showed you but this is also one of the ways that you can use um to do your uh, dividend paid note this is the easiest actually okay now uh, let's continue with our lesson so next we have to do income tax paid so now with your income tax paid i would like to tip you the easiest way um to see so in terms of your sars né? in terms of your sars uh, uh you need to look at this um at the beginning um if you have a debit balance, it means that SARS will owe you, so you'll have an inflow. Now, also, the other thing at the beginning, if you have a credit balance, it means you'll have an outflow because you owe SARS. Remember the signs, very important. Okay, so if it's a credit balance at the beginning, you'll have to pay SARS, so it's a minus. Now, um, at the end, this is what you need to check. If we have a debit balance at the end for SARS, it means you overpaid so it is an outflow of cash and then if we have a credit balance at the end it means that you did not pay so money remained with us so it's an inflow so you need to remember these tips that i've given you it will help you a lot to make uh, the SARS income tax or taxation paid note easy for you okay now we have already spoken about this let's get into the lesson now we are going to check the conditions that i was giving you so now let's check last year our sars income tax had a credit balance so obviously if it had a credit balance it means that when we start this year they will expect a payment from us so we'd have a negative hundred and sixty thousand okay so we will write um we will write a minus hundred and sixty thousand here so you'd say minus hundred and 60,000 and then you also check remember your amount from the financial statement it is always in bracketed so you also write minus so let's check what is the amount for income tax from the financial statements according to here our income tax is 2 million 
um is two million and seventy two thousand so that two million and seventy two thousand will also have it here um two million and seventy two a thousand those uh, zeros will continue here now let's check what is happening with sars at the end of the year what is happening let's check now when you check here what is happening with sars at the end of the present year it is a debit balance it has a debit balance so remember i said if you have a debit balance it means you overpaid so it's still a negative okay so it's still going to be a negative so we are going to say um minus a uh, minus that eighty thousand here so here we can see that all of them are, are are negative right so what we can do uh because the signs are the same we will add them so you take um 160 000, uh plus two million and seventy two thousand and then you are going to also plus 30,000. So for me, I'm getting um, my taxation paid will be um, 3 million and 72,000. Okay, let me close this off quickly. So we'd have um, our 3 million and uh, 3 million 702,000. So I'm just quickly going to erase this so we'll have um three million seven hundred and two thousand so this is our taxation paid remember at the beginning we had um a credit balance so even if you write it like this let's see if it will work if you press it uh, in the calculator the way it is uh, minus one hundred and sixty thousand uh, minus two million and seventy two thousand uh, minus thirty thousand okay um i just want to check something i see something here i think okay let me correct this uh so always make sure i don't trust these calculators from the phone guys so let's do it like this so because we saw that our signs are the same yeah i saw so always make sure that um you verify so um remember uh, the total for this is supposed to be two million two hundred and sixty two thousand so remember if one of the items is wrong uh, you are going to have a problem so two million two hundred and sixty two thousand but remember for you guys you'll be using a normal calculator uh, rather than a phone so the chances of you making a calculation error when you use a fiscal calculator are very slim okay so let's see um So remember, uh, minus one hundred and sixty thousand, minus one hundred and sixty thousand, minus two million and seventy two thousand, minus uh thirty thousand. Yeah, it's giving us negative uh two million two hundred and sixty two thousand. So it means that our answer is fine. So this one is tricky. I suggest that you calculate it on the side before you bring it here. Now next we have cash effects of investing activities remember in terms of investing we can uh, purchase fixed assets we can also sell them okay so let's see if there's anything about the selling of assets um so according to here they are telling us that um fixed assets okay this was recorded remember they said that an old uh, equipment was sold at carrying value for six million uh, 590 so remember guys the proceeds from the sale of assets you record them at a killing value because the profit is taken to the income statement so we'd have uh 67 million 67,590 in terms of proceeds on sale uh of assets so we'd have um proceeds on sale 
of asset and then um our total according to there it's uh 67,590 so remember that 67,590 because you are selling it brings uh money so it will be positive okay and then after this you need to check when you invest you can invest in things like fixed deposit so check if your fixed deposit has increased or not and then you're going to see this under financial assets so last year our financial assets amounted to 1 million this year it's zero so it means we have received that a uh, fixed deposit it has matured so we are going to say um proceeds proceeds from financial assets so we're going to say 1 million minus zero uh, minus that zero will have our 1 million now remember our our uh, remember what is happening is that our, our 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 fixed deposit has matured so it brings money to us but interest is not recorded in the cash flow it has to be taken uh, to the income statement okay so in this part on the fixed deposit that matures we don't record uh, that interest here okay now next we have a, a section that says cash effects of financing activities proceeds from shares uh, issued remember that a uh, five million five hundred thousand that we calculated uh, on the ordinary share capital when we were issuing shares is going to come here on proceeds so that five million five hundred thousand will come here and then also a repurchase of shares remember those shares that we repurchased uh we said we even did a triangle for that which is what i told you that we will use in the cash flow statement let me quickly look for that triangle so remember the triangle told us that in the cash flow we are going to use the repurchase price of 375 now remember the number of shares that were bought back amounted to 500,000 so we'll say um repurchase of shares it will be um 500,000 multiplied by 375 and then whatever that we get we'll put it in brackets because when you are repurchasing it means money is leaving so a uh, 5 million 500,000 multiplied by the rand 75 is going to give us 1 million 875,000 okay let's see yes and then from there um with regards to financing we need to check did our loan increase or decrease uh, because you can finance using shares of borrowed funds which is your loan okay so let's check um there's no information about the loan here on the adjustments but if you look at this the loan is there so when we started the year our loan was two million and eighty thousand when we ended the year our loan was one million nine hundred and sixty thousand so which means that we have a loan repayment okay so we're going to include that um we're going to have um loan repayment and then remember we're going to say two million and eighty thousand minus uh what you have here is one million nine hundred and sixty thousand Okay. And then because you are paying, your answer should be in brackets. So let's see, um, 2 million and 80,000 minus 1 million 960,000 is giving us 120,000. So it means that we paid 120,000. And then from there, we have to check um, the cash and cash equivalents opening balance as well as the closing balance so now when you deal with your cash and cash equivalents always check if uh at the beginning they had an overdraft okay and also at the end check if there was also an overdraft those two things uh, they affect your cash and cash equivalents uh, balances so now let's check let's start with our opening balance when we started um at the beginning of the year 
our cash and cash equivalent was 72,000, right? Uh, you need to go back to your current liabilities, um, to your, to, to your, uh, to your notes and just check if you had a bank overdraft. So if you check here, um, we have under trade and other payables, uh, we have bank overdraft. So once you have a bank overdraft, it reduces your money. Okay. So what we are going to do, um, at the end, uh, at the beginning of the year, sorry, we'll have 147,500. Um, we'll say 110. Remember the overdraft is the bigger one. So say 147,500. Then we minus, uh, that cash and cash equivalent that we had. So we'll minus that, um, 72,000. But remember, um, the bigger amount is the overdraft. So obviously we'll have the sign of the overdraft. So 147, uh, 500 minus 72, uh, 147 500 minus 72,000 is going to give us 75,500. Uh, now, let's check at the end what happened. Let's check at the end if we have uh, the same story. At the end, um, when we check, we don't have overdraft. So it means that uh, we are going to take our cash and cash equivalent as it is that 102,000 we will take it as it is okay so remember it's favorable so that 102,000 will come here and then our net change when you work bottom up when you move from here um to here obviously because you are working bottom up you will have to take this at this and put it here okay so let's see 1 million 102,000 plus uh, seven five five hundred it is giving us one hundred and seventy seven thousand five hundred now remember to get this you would have to take uh cash flow from operating activities the total that you'll normally have here you plus or minus this plus or minus this and then it will give you the net change so you need to also know how to work it out straight and also understand the bottom up approach. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this lesson. I hope that it has really helped you to understand accounting much better. May God richly bless you. Shalom. Uh, and also, before I forget, if you want me to become your online tutor, you're more than welcome to get in touch with us by using the details that are available in the description of this video. Remember, our lessons start from just 500 per month. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Shalom.